Hey y'all, my name is Sarah Cannon, and if you don't know me, I am the Director of Religious Education here at All Souls Unitarian Church, and we wanted to reach out to families who might not know us because there are roughly two dozen anti-LGBTQIA plus bills moving through the Indiana State Legislature right now, and some Hoosiers are referring to it as the slate of hate. So we wanted to make sure that you know that All Souls opposes the slate of hate. We want to tell you a little bit more about why and offer an invitation. So we've been welcoming LGBTQIA plus members into our congregations for a really long time. Um, UUs officiated our first gay marriages back in the 1950s, and the first out gay minister in the country was a UU minister. Um, We've also been partnering with the United Church of Christ for decades to prove that church communities can offer non-shaming, science-based sexual health and wellness education across our congregational lifespans. Um, we call this program Our Whole Lives or OWL, and whether we're teaching littles about how that baby got in there or supporting teens as they move through puberty or talking to people across the lifespan about body boundaries and consent, our learnings and our language address the experiences and affirm the presence of queer, non-binary, trans, and intersex people. As far as the book banning goes, Unitarian Universalists' religious roots lie in intellectual freedom. The right to explore things from a variety of perspectives without there being some kind of preordained conclusion that we're supposed to come to. And if someone is scared to let us have that opportunity, we find that super sus. So, we stock banned books for all ages on purpose at our church. No matter what happens in your kids' schools, they are freed to read at All Souls, and nobody here is gonna try to short circuit their empathy button by controlling their access to information and other people's lived experiences. When laws like this are sweeping through our legislatures and our school boards, and they're making us feel like we didn't know our communities as well as we thought, that can be agonizing. And there are folks at All Souls who've been through this fight before, and some of them are really grieving because they were hoping that younger generations would not have to go through what they went through. There are also plenty of congregants and staff members at All Souls for whom this issue is deeply personal. So we hope that you won't let the slate of hate isolate you. We hope that you'll come on in and visit us here at All Souls. Your family is welcome here.